హలో వెల్కమ్ బ్యాక్ టు బేసిక్ ప్రోగ్రామింగ్ ఇన్ దిస్ వీడియో వీఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు సీ అనదర్ ప్రోగ్రామ్ ఫర్ యాడింగ్ టూ నంబర్స్ లాస్ట్ వీడియో ఆల్సో వీ హావ్ సీన్ హౌ టు యాడ్ టూ నంబర్స్ యూసింగ్ అ బేసిక్ ప్రోగ్రామ్ ఇన్ దిస్ ప్రోగ్రామ్ వీ విల్ డూ ఇట్ ఇన్ ఎ డిఫరెంట్ వే సో దిస్ వాస్ ద లాస్ట్ ప్రోగ్రామ్ సో హియర్ ఐ వుడ్ లైక్ టు మేక్ సమ్ చేంజెస్ Okay, in the line number 20, I'm going to give a message on the screen, enter a number. Should be on the top, enter a number. Nambi, yeah, yeah. And in the next line, let it be 25 input input a and in the 30th line print r i n t enter one more enter one more number and in the line 35 i am going to input b i n i n p u t yeah input b and 40 is the same c equal to a plus b print c and okay the program is more or less the same but in this program we are not giving any values for a and b initially the values will not be given by the programmer but it, it will be given by the user or at the run time when the program is executed that time it will ask the values for a and b from the user and it will print the value print the result uh, during run time let me run and see enter a number it is asking uh, me to enter a number and it is showing a question mark so that i can enter a number okay let me give a value 9 enter one more it's asking for another number let me give 10 so i expect an answer 19 okay i'm getting that uh, answer 9 plus 10 is 19 okay the program is working well and fine okay what is the difference in this program the only difference is instead of giving let a equal to 20 50 or something as a fixed number initially here in this case i am giving an input statement the purpose of input statement is to get a value from the user and that value will be stored in a variable on run time when the program is executed the system will ask for a number and that number will be stored in this variable so similarly i asked for one number and that is stored in a another number and that is stored in b and both the values are added to c and that c value the result of the values of a and b added together that is on c and the value on c is printed out so here we have two more print statement so that there will be some message enter a number enter one more number so that the user will be able to understand what is happening so if you want to see the result in a different way then we can print a semicolon if you want to print more things more variables and if you want to separate all those variables we must separate those variables we can use comma or semicolon for separation and i am going to give a symbol a plus again semicolon b again semicolon equal to so a plus b equal to c so the value of a will be printed and the plus will be printed as it is because the plus is a string the one which is given in the quotation will be printed as it is so in the same way equal to is also a string that will be printed as it is the value of a will be printed here value of b will be printed here and the value of c will be printed here on runtime 
okay the value of a I am entering 20 and value for the B is 30 and the answer should be 50 20 plus 30 equal to 50 that's the answer so this value is printed over here the 30 is printed over here okay finally I am getting an answer in a proper formatted way so this is a program so in this program the speciality is we can give the programs we can give the values to be added by the user on runtime rather than assigning some values so this program is more dynamic than that of the program uh, that we have discussed in the earlier video I hope you have enjoyed this video and if you have any doubts regarding this program feel free to write to me my email id is it underscore teacher one at yahoo.com thank you for watching this video thank you and have a nice day